and our university police are cracking down on biking and skateboarding violations. As we all know, the student population is growing in size, but so are the concerns about their ability to travel around the campus safely. Mm. Ryan Canada joins us live at the university. And Ryan, tell us a little bit more about these concerns. Well, the biggest concern, Landon, is that these speedy travelers are going to run into the people who are walking to campus. As you can see right here, this huge hill right here behind me, some people have been caught going more than 30 miles per hour on their bikes and skateboards. That's well over 15 miles over the speed limit. Riding a bike to class is more than just a means of transportation for some UNR students. It's a lifestyle. It's the fastest way to campus for me. It's about a 15 minute ride to and from campus. I think uh, bike is a great way to get around campus and meet friends and uh, either just get to the library. But riding a high speed vehicle around large groups of people can come with certain responsibilities. Just be mindful of all these dismount areas. University police are encouraging all members of the campus community to use this type of equipment as a way to get around. I think overwhelmingly people want to be bike friendly. But at the same time, certain rules need to be followed, and campus police are keeping a sharper eye out for violators because of a recent string of complaints and injuries. Where to walk through, um, where they are permitted to ride, uh, and, and then just a little bit about speeds and, and safety. Violations of university policy can lead to a $100 fine, but rather than having to charge people for disobeying the rules, UNR police hope people will instead educate themselves on what's safe. I do my best to stay off the sidewalk and on the bicycle path areas as much as possible. And for more info about university bike policies and links to a map that show where you can ride and where you need to dismount, you can find all that information on our website, ktvn.com. Just click on the blue news links button. And in just a short amount of time that we've been here, we've already seen university police catch a couple people who they're giving warnings to to slow down. Covering the story live, Ryan Kennedy, Channel 2 News. Yikes. All right, thank you. Still to come in tonight's